Hey there, welcome to The Junk Drawer. My name is Enzo, and today we are talking about Barbie looks. So this video is gonna be focused on the Barbie looks boy that just came out. I believe he's number 25, uh, but I will go ahead and show you the other ones that I ordered. I ordered three others besides the boy. So here he is. But I wanted to show you the other ones that I got. So I got this one, which is number 21, number 20, and then number 22. So the other ones I was like, meh, I don't know. So these are the ones that I got. But today we are taking a look at number 25, the Buff Ken. I am so, so, so excited for this one. I'm glad they came out with a black version of the Buff Ken. I hope they come out with even more versions because I feel like this is the only other Buff Ken that we have, so. Mattel needs to uh, get on that. Also, uh, not to not to go down a rabbit hole, but they also need more body diversity with the males. I feel like having a made-to-move broad body would be awesome, or even a something like maybe like in between the broad body and the buff. Uh, but yeah, that's just my two cents. Anyway, you're not here for that, you're here for this. So let's get into number 25. So really quick, uh, this is the front of the box. And on the side it says looks, model number 25. In the back of the box is the cross cell. Like I said, I did not get, I did not get this one or the blonde. All right, so he does come with the certificate of authenticity, which is garbage to me because I don't really care. Uh, he also comes with this a very standard. I feel like the all the look dolls come with these particular stands, and the star of the show number twenty five. This is his front, and this is his back. So, uh, first impressions, uh, again, I am so, so happy. He's, he's like, I forgot how hefty these are. These, these beefy ones, these buff Ken ones are very, very hefty. Um, yeah, so this whole line, uh, if you don't know, is inspired by like 90s, 90, it's a 90s theme, but like modernized. There's also lots of pinks and purple running throughout the line, so there's that as well. But yeah, um, I am so happy that uh, they came out with this, and uh, yeah, let's take a closer look. So if we start from the top, uh, you'll obviously notice he's got textured hair. It is super, super soft. There really isn't any product in it, so that's that's lovely. And then the sides are shaved. It's not flocked or anything, but they are shaved. And um, yeah, and then his face is it is a reuse of an existing sculpt. The other thing about these look dolls is, is that they're very plain. <laughs> they're very basic, like their outfits are very basic. I think they're intended to be that way because I feel like a lot of collectors get these uh, look dolls for the made to move uh, aspect of it. So uh, yeah, this is just a very simple green kind of stretchy material shirt that Velcro's in the back. And then if we go down to his pants, they're this like lavender color. And then he's got these kind of short, short boots, these shortcut boots, they're, they're silver. I think they're meant to look uh, metallic-y. And that's about it. So there's not a lot to the doll, but yeah, and then, um, I'm actually gonna do, let me, I'm gonna do a comparison to the other buff can, and uh, we can take a look at the articulation. So this is interesting. Uh, the boot, the slit in the back of the boot isn't cut all the way up. And I don't know if that's, I'm assuming that's intentional. Um, if you have one and your boot is cut all the way up, I'd love to know, but it's interesting that they decided to do it this way. Um, not sure why, but I, Thought I'd mention it. He's also packaged with these knee protectors, I guess. Um, I'm not sure what the purpose of these are, honestly, because typically when they put stuff on the actual doll, it's to protect the doll from getting like color bleed or whatever, but I'm not sure if this was, I'm, I, yeah, I just don't, I don't know why 
<laughs> they wouldn't do this. All right, so he is disrobed. Uh, so articulation is side to side, up and down a little bit, shoulder, bicep, elbow, wrist. And then there's a joint at the chest here. Uh, nothing at the waist, but legs. He can, he can do this. <laughs> he can do this. So lots of, lots of motion. He's got a cut at the thigh here and then the double jointed um, knee and then his ankle articulation. So super, super, super articulated. And then here he is next to his buff counterpart. It's literally the same exact um, body mold, obviously, but it's just interesting to see the different um, color. So that's cool. But yeah, I like I said earlier, I'm very excited um, that they came out with this buff Ken. I, I really do want them, I would love for them to come out with even more different variations on this buff Ken, different, different ethnicities. Um, Cause I think it's, it's important. And I think, um, you know, I don't know if we're gonna have to wait until like another year for another buff Ken, but uh, I hope it's sooner than that. But this buff Ken is great. I think his, his face mold is adorable and um, he, looks, he looks real good. So uh, yeah, but let me know what you think of this buff Ken in the comments below. If you plan on getting him or if you got any of the other ones, uh, I'd love to know. So thank you so much for watching. I truly, truly, truly appreciate it. If you haven't already, please remember to subscribe. And I hope you having, I hope you having English. English is hard sometimes. Uh, I hope you're having a lovely whenever you're watching this. And I will catch you next time.